Hi, this is Danielle Varner, and I'm going to be doing a vlog about change. Now, change is supposed to be a good thing. Improvements on an existing design, and so on and so forth. And somehow some changes aren't good when certain things get removed and get replaced with more harsher. Uh, more harsher, stupendous ideas and things. Actually, when something gets changed, um, there needs to be a lot of thought put into it. Um, is it going to improve on the existing design, or is it going to destroy the, uh, the existing design? And I've noticed much of the changes <clears throat> in general have on this year have been rather negative um, uh, than positive um, politically um, in the UK these changes have been um, very uh, demising and um, made life more difficult and harder for people um, to actually live their lives. Um, it's political. But I'm mainly going to focus on technology um, in the field of computing. Um, Windows 8. It's absolutely one of the worst changes that has come out in um, the operating system. Windows 8. It's absolutely rubbish. Um, it's actually been designed mainly for like touch screen. Now, personally thinking, I think the idea of a, a touch screen um, desktop is a bad idea. Um, mainly because your um, screen gets covered with fingerprints. And um, when you're eating and you're working in front of a computer, you're basically smudging your screen and um, you have to constantly wipe um, your screen. Um, touch technology will be perfect if you are actually interfacing with a hologram and um, move the hologram around. Um, another good interface, um, good place, um, touch pads or a, a good idea um, uh, where like even the magic mouse with Apple um, I think Apple has got the, the right thing in mind with them um, not jumping into the um, I don't know gimmick of um, touch touch screen technology which is suitable for mobile phone, mobile phones at this present and um, tablet computers but um, for desktops, um, you'd like to have a clean screen, which is large enough to work, say, to do art or something like that. And um, it, it gets shipped with the, when you're touching the screen all the time. Um, an alternative, if it was like a pen technology, um, where um, you would have a pen and... Um, and then you interface with the screen. Now, um, Windows 8 is absolutely rubbish. Number one, it, 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 not because of uh, it, well, also, but you know, the idea of touch screen desktops is really a dumb idea, and um, um, it sounds like really cool. It's actually gimmicky, to be honest, and more like gimmicky selling experimental technology. Um, um, also part of Windows 98 is um, probably is the interface um, so called retro screen. I mean metro screen, yeah it does look very uh, retro then having no depth, shadow um, or, you know like 3D appearances with most um, uh, recent modern um, uh, interfaces where you know a button looks like a button and things like that instead of just a, 
a blank square with text on it or a, an icon that's two dimensionally pressed against the square. Um, and the angles of the window is very sharp and rigid. And I like, I'm a person that likes organic architecture. Um, um, and even the interface where things look very organic. Um, it's much more soothing than calm and um, gets you in that um, frame of mind um, of wanting to work on your project or whatever you're doing on your computer. Um, and Apple kind of retains this, even though I don't like their um, new um, uh, scroll bars, um, but they kind of, but I, um, I like the idea, even though the, the, the new scroll bars on Apple look shit, um, they disappear and um, it's suitable for the magic mouse and all that, um, and the touchpad. So, um, yeah. Um, whereas Windows 8 is very crap. I had looked some of the, the new Linux, um, Linux um, systems. I still say Linux. Yeah, it's just me that says that. Um, Linux systems, um, are much better than Windows 9, uh, Windows 8. Um, so, absolutely, I actually don't recommend, uh, Windows 8. I've actually used and tested the system. And I'm not happy with it. It looks, it looks terrible. It reminds me of um, when uh, Microsoft, when they were making um, Microsoft Works um, 2000 or something like that. Very same coloring and style, um, and much in the logo and that <laughs> is very old, which is kind of got re reused. And so called modified. Um, the look and feel of Windows 8 is really um, crap. Uh, Windows 9, they say they're going to be adopting the features of Windows 8. Um, also, there's a problem with people as well with your desktop computer or a laptop. Um, there's no start menu. Um, now, Windows 7 is currently the best operating system and I, I use Windows 7 um, on my laptop but um, one thing that I found annoying in Windows 7 it's very minor is um, you can't um, say if you you want more screen space uh, for an application uh, the taskbar is in the way so even though you put on the alt to hide um, of the taskbar um, it gets irritating because it, it, it's flopping all the time. Um, where it would have been better if um, you could actually have certain applications that can actually maximize over the, um, um, what do you call it, the um, taskbar, such as Manga Studio 5, which is very um, space hogging uh, piece of software. Uh, that's the only thing I don't like about Manga Studio 5, um, where Manga Studio 4, you can actually move the, um, the toolboxes around to the way you want. Um, even Photoshop, uh, the new Photoshop, and that, you can't really move the toolboxes around as well around the screen um, in the positions that you want. I've noticed as well technology. Um, Software and that, um, there's been a reduction in uh, personalization and customization. Um, I personally didn't find the need to really customize Windows 7 because it looked, you know, perfect. The only thing I would like to customize is the um, the, um, the, the, the the taskbar issue. Um, but I'm using the um, Alienware. Um, um, Alienware breed theme because it looks more organic than um, the standard Windows 7 uh, glass theme. Um, I like it when it looks more organic. However, the only problem with it is you can't really um, um, change the color to a perfect, which I would really want. 
Um, I have thought like I wanted to to modify the um, animals, um, but um, I'm fine with it, and I'm thinking of moving over to Apple um, in my next computer. Um, Apple's okay, as I'm saying, is um, Windows 8. You, you, you don't get it. it. It's absolutely rubbish. Um, and also another thing is they've just even disabled the use of playing DVDs um, on um, Windows 8. And there's many things that they have removed from Windows 8. They have added new features, but um, some features, uh, for example, don't support personalization and customization, such as you know, the system rollback and all that. It, it works fine with the current settings and customizations, um, but it doesn't work if, if you want to have your own customization. So you would actually have to make your own disk image um, in order to, um, you know, when you recover your system. Um, <clears throat> so Windows 8 is a problem. Um, Many okay, YouTube. <laughs> I call you can't even call it YouTube anymore. It's actually going face the uh, Google videos. Um, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they have seen um, the um, logo. I don't know if it was a prank or what, or an Easter egg uh, when um, the, the change was going on, and um, I had a, a page error. It says. Uh, 500 monkeys are working on the, on the on the website. You know, please wait and try to return something something of that sort. You know, the error message with the 500 monkeys. And I refreshed the page, and, and I saw Google videos. I should have screenshotted. Should have. Apparently, I didn't. Um, I think it could be, could have been. A um, one of the uh, people programming for this prank, um, but uh, <laughs> you know, I have strong feelings that it, it's going to go that way because they have changed so much already with YouTube, where they've disabled personalization and customization. They haven't enhanced it. They haven't made it. A bit, it's not like Tumblr where you could actually have your own CSS and. Uh, you know, really customize your page and, and have preset CSSs. If you if you're not if you're not really good at the program, then you choose a preset CSS and um, you just change your uh, background or your images um, accordingly to you know, to make it look nice uh, to your personal. You know, to really have match your YouTube channel with your personal website. No, you can't have that. Um, the, the only thing with the, with the YouTube One channel design, um, it, it only looks good on the TV. So if you have YouTube hooked up on your TV, you see your full background picture. Um, so, so it's only good for TV. Um, uh, it looks nice on the TV. Um, so there's that problem as well, um, and then there's also another problem with the comments, the change of the comments is they've integrated with the Google Plus, and um, <coughs> it's so annoying. Um, I like to have the comments in the inbox, like my um, YouTube, like you know, like YouTube, DeviantArt, or uh, Tumblr, uh, you know, you got your separate. I just don't like everything thrown into the email or uh, Google Plus. Uh, um, so I found it very difficult to use Google Plus as it is. Um, it is like Facebook, but um, it's it's mostly gobbledygook to me, and um, it's you can you can use it like Facebook. Um, Though not many of my friends have moved over from Facebook to interact with me on Google Plus, and um, nobody really understands it. I think this whole YouTube change is trying to force people um, 
because you know YouTube was a a, a very good uh, website. Um, it was unique in its own way, and that kind of thing has been destroyed and um, it's kind of been uh, dissolved into the whole, um, thing, which is not a good change at all. And uh, I honestly feel there's probably going to be rival sites um, appearing. Um, other video websites that um, would allow more customization, more personalization. Um, there was a zip cost thing which kind of like ended up being flopped. Um, I have a zip pot cost count, uploaded videos, um, returned to the website, articles down after you know a few months. I see all my videos are gone. Um, it's like what the so I just don't use it anymore. Um, um, so yeah, that that is a bit of a problem as well. Um, and so there's been so many changes um, that haven't been put thought into. Uh, Windows 8. Um, actually, Windows 8 is like uh, the Windows Longhorn. Not Vista Longhorn, that which never came out, but um, uh, you know, Windows 8 came out too rapid um, after Windows 7, where Windows 7 could have had some fixes and they provided touchscreen support um, without removing any features. And um, there was a there's a good app a Linux, a Linux application. Um, Fedora, um, which actually combines these um, the touch and the um, the Windows very well. Um, that was that is well, and it looks nice. You customize the background, all things glass, like um, you know uh, Windows Seven and all that. Um, so I recommend uh, you know don't go to Windows Eight. Um, so you'll have the two options to go the expensive route towards Apple, but uh, unfortunately Apple doesn't have much customization of things. So although it's a very good operating system, it has no system registry. Uh, customization of Apple is you know minimum, unfortunately. So um, you can't change the color of the windows and things like that. Um, Although I like the, the rounded corners and the drop shadows, that kind of makes up for the the, 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 um, the thing. But um, um, the problem with Apple. Um, but um, Linux is the the free way or the the best way alternative to Windows 8 Linux. Uh, Linux, um, Linux uh, is the is the best. Um, operators system to move on Fedora Mint. Uh, so, but the thing is, if you're an artist, um, Apple is the best option. Uh, and if you don't around, really don't like messing around with um, too much coding and that, if you're more of a um, artistic type person. Although uh, Linux, you can actually customize it to the way you want and it's very flexible with that so um, you can actually change fully customize your interface like what you did with when I like what you did with Windows XP uh, it has that advantage um, but um, with the file managing system I'm not too happy with Linux and um, the um, what do you call it? Um, absolutely, Windows Windows is now absolutely rubbish. When, from Windows 8, on, I think it's going to be you know rubbish unless they bring out a hologram screen, and then I'd say, well, um, Windows 8 would work on that perfectly. Um, where you know you can choose many different for the hologram screen you can have many multiple um screens which are holograms 
so um, you know, Windows 8 is it, it hasn't really been thought and everything looks two dimensional flat but I don't know, so one thing I'm going to show you is when I finish off this video I had uh, somebody criticised my one of my videos um, there is no God um, life, the universe and everything were explained um, and from an extraterrestrial point of view about life, the universe and everything um, so I had done a video about that and the intro has a um, a Oh, yes, and, and this person had accused that I had said that as being um, mind control, whatever's. Um, I just found it pretty interesting that um, the polar clock appeared um, on this picture over here on um, um, Russia Today, um, who was a discussion about nuclear weapons. And sometimes I do things, um, I don't know, I'm just, I just connected to certain things somehow and, um, and then, you know, they look similar and, um, I don't know, I think, well, you know. Anyway, um, I'll just finish it off here and I'll just say the changes with the um, computing, uh, recently, uh, with operating system and things like that has been absolutely shit. Um, no thought has gone into it. Well, there has been thought, but there's no like recalibration of thought where where people are aware they actually test it properly. Um, it, it, it's uh, Windows 8, YouTube, um, and also another thing is Facebook. That's that uh, that's gone absolutely rubbish now. Uh, for me personally, it's absolutely it's not even usable anymore because of the um, the, the whole censorship policy um, where I had shared my art, and people reported it's offensive. The art which is not just removed like it used to be in the past, but you, they punish you for 30 days. So you're basically in read-only mode on Facebook. 30 days so you get unblocked and then you just you know be yourself and all that and then blocked again it's it's, it's preposterous um, that's that's a bad change as well so uh, I think I'll finish off that my video is getting a bit too long so um I'm shutting up and my kitty cat is um flying on the lap so which is the best friend in this planet. You know, Daddy does. <laughs> you know, sometimes animals are the very best friends. I don't criticize where there's a bit of food, sometimes peeing your bed, but, um, I like a good company.